computer. Well, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Graham Moore here with the Leadership Challenge Middle East and my very good colleagues, Muhammad Chukri and Phoebe Francis. Good morning, gentlemen. Good evening. Phoebe, how good are morning, you? Good morning, Phoebe. Yeah, good morning. And uh, it is wonderful to hear today with uh, cloudy skies, a little bit of sprinkling rain and a beautiful sun outside too. And this is Dubai, right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, a little weather check in Bahrain. How's the weather in Bahrain? Yes, it is cloudy and I'm, we are enjoying the breeze. But I think there is another cloud we need to sort out, the cloud that's covering leadership and management. So let's do that. Let's do that. So the topic for today was leader or manager, leading or managing. So this is a situation where people get confused, I believe. So, gentlemen, let me start with Phoebe. What, how do you define leader and manager? Yeah, Graham, uh, in my perspective, you know, leadership and management um, are interlinked, go hand in hand. And I like to stress one important point as a definition, like managers mostly focus on planning, organizing and coordinating and getting things done. From a leader perspective, it is more about inspiring, innovating, motivating people as they move forward. So that is one distinction, but which is connected. And for those terms, which I am trying to uh, give this meaning at this point of time. Okay. Okay. So Mohammed, what's your take on this? Well, I was one of those uh, who was bombarded and clouded by the leadership management argument, etc. And everybody wanted to uh, explain both, but you know, uh, secretly they have uh, been doing a lot of distinction and separation between them. It was only until I joined uh, this, you know, a huge campaign, I can call it the Leadership Challenge, with the book and the training with you and using the uh, practices with my clients, I get to know that they are actually in total harmony, leadership and management. They are both needed to get the results desired by any corporation, business or uh, organization. But we need to uh, clarify that they are not actually uh, separated. It's not leadership or management, it's leadership and management. And gosh, it will become Life will become a lot easier when we do that. I hope this session, I'm sure this session will clarify that. I, I'm going to suggest that I, I agree with you that they, should, they are the, that they should be together, but there are a lot of people who are focused perhaps more on one of those, and that one, I think, is managing. So why do you think that is? I think, let me start there, because this is what we see people do before us, you know? We, we work in a department, in a section, and then we see someone promoted, or we are promoted, and in that moment, what do you think we will follow? We will follow what the previous manager was doing. And, you know, um, you get the behavior that you reward, Jack Welch said. So if uh, companies uh, reward just the hard work of a manager who's running numbers and operations, everybody will follow. The good news is that we have in leadership challenge practices uh, challenging the status quo, right? Challenging the process. So uh, leadership, I agree with you. We, we need to educate more on leadership because that's what's mostly missing, not management. Everybody you know, knows exactly what to do, when to do, how to do, and what to get. So but one of the complications of this is that we say leadership is not about a title, right? Leader, does not it's not a title. But manager is a title. I am the office manager. I am the administration manager. I am the plant manager. But it's interesting, isn't it, when we go back a step from that because people become team leaders. They become team leaders, and this is pretty good. But then something happens because the position is manager, and suddenly people take, perhaps take on this 
reversion and go into managing. I wonder why that is. Why do people not yeah. think they lead that they can get the results that managers get? Do you think that's a possibility? Yeah, maybe I, I I like to bring some thoughts here. So when when did when did we start calling uh, us as human beings managers? It is quite often when the industrialization started and yeah. part of that process. So you know, so the that that thought process of scientific management principles bringing in leadership titles and these these and and what happens is senior management. It is not called you know in organizational someone has defined these are senior managers. Yeah, and but they say what, senior. What I want to bring, they? they don't say senior. Sorry. They say senior manager. Yeah. So what, what I just want to highlight here is it, it is the definition and meaning making process which happened uh, and that led to labeling people in that terminology. But if we look into ourselves, we are all leading ourselves. You know, self-leadership is critical, taking us and moving forward. And what we do in that process is making sure that we 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 set our vision we set uh, we, we take uh, our, our ourself moving forward so what i want to bring at this point is uh, imagine that we need leader managers in our uh, organization if we bring that definitions together so that is uh, the thought process which i just want to bring at this point yeah uh, now this is a term i often use and i'm going to su suggest this to you muhammad what's your reaction to the term leader manager yeah when i heard this first time from you graham i it was like an aha moment like it made all sense and pushed away all the you know scrubbed away actually all the extras and yeah it makes total sense leader manager and um, the only thing is that when you want that person to be leader manager, he knows exactly the manager part because he is managing the outer realm of himself. Like he is managing the results, like the data that he has and everything outside. But we all know that working on the inside of you, leadership demands that you start from yourself and practice things you were not used to practice like before, like, you know, listening to people deeply and, and all that. So that's why I agree with Phoebe. Uh, it becomes uh, more blurred to people. What do you mean lead? What do you mean lead? So uh, I'm glad that the leadership challenge also really simplified. There are only five things you need to focus on as uh, practices uh, and, and you'll be you'll be good. But okay, so let's let me just qualify this. So if we focus on those five practices, we're going to get great leadership. So does that also comply with and and complement managing? Well, I think uh, Phoebe and I want you to answer this. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're putting it back on me. All right, okay. So look, I, I do think that a lot of people see the idea of managing is being following tasks, and we've talked about that. Mm -hmm. now, these things, mm -hmm. This deadline, I've got these people, I've got these resources, and this is what I will manage, because the word manage comes from the Latin meaning by hand. I can move, I can manipulate, I, this is what I can do. But when we say, no, no, let's lead, this is, leadership is a behaviour. You know, managing we don't describe as a behaviour. It's actually, a, it's a, it's following tasks. It's, um, you mentioned listening a, a minute ago, and I've said this for a long time, that leaders listen with heart. Managers typically listen with judgement, whereas, you know, leaders have got an approach to this. Now, if I'm your leader manager, I want to listen to what you are telling me. I want to listen to what your issues are. I want to know how I can best help you get the outcome that we need. And I'm going to challenge you to find a better way to do it. And when you do this, I'm going to recognize what you've done. And I'm going to say, wow, Muhammad, that's fantastic. Did a great job. And in the, in, in the leadership challenge, we, of course, the third practice of challenge the process, mm -hmm. this is we say you know, make mistakes. Leaders allow people to make mistakes so that they can learn. Leaders will say, well, what did you learn from that mistake? 
managers will say, don't make, don't make that mistake again. So I, I want to imp impress, impress on people the importance of what I see as a leader manager. The leader manager is someone who's going to get great results because of the relationship that they have with the people who they are leading. One final word from each of you really quickly because our 10 minutes is nearly up. So quick re quick reflection or summary of all of that, Muhammad. Um, I'm very uh, happy and comfortable with the leader manager. I remember uh, recently I asked you, uh, Graham, for um, a big consultancy task I had uh, with one of the organizations. And of course, you are my go-to person to clarify a very delicate part of where does this fit in when managers are already overloaded. And we this is what I saw all my life working in any environment. All of them are already overloaded. And when they become leaders, like leading others, uh, they, they, they feel the burden. And, and voila, the answer was always leadership is the answer. It's not the problem. Just let them lead and things uh, will fall, up, uh, fall, not apart, fall in place. And they will find the ease that they, they need. Uh, over to you and over to Phoebe also. No, actually, let me just <laughs> thank you. But before Phoebe starts, can I just say that next time, next time we're together, let's talk about leadership and stress. How about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Because I think that's the, that was the reason I, I rushed to you to uh, clarify the stress part. Yeah, thank over to you. Thank you very much for the quick summation on this, Phoebe. Yeah, th thank you, Graham. Thank you. Uh, you. You highlighted the meaning and its original word from uh, about, uh, you know, using the hands part. And it is really uh, r relating to what, what we discussed and also bringing that uh, terminology, the leader manager, which actually goes in that process. And one thing uh, I just want to summarize, you know, as, as from what I learned from all of you today, manager does the things right and leader does the right thing. Absolutely. But well said. Absolutely. What a great way to finish. Gentlemen, thank you. I always learn from this discussion with you. And I really hope that the people who are tuning in to watch us are also going to learn and they will continue this journey with us as we help change the world one leader at a time. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank, thank you. you. See you soon.